Welcome all to yet another video on Dr. R S and you on the science of cosmetics and personal care products. Before going into today's topic on eyeliner, I just want to scan through the index of all the parts we have covered and uploaded. So you can go to that particular part you are uh, uh, interested or you want to revise. You can go back. to that part so first it starts with introduction to all these topics right part 9 will be on hair structure like uh, the so the first page is till part 25 then part 26 building block dandruff deodorants antiperspirants sunscreens then part 31 32 fats and oils part 46 47 then part 48 petroleum jelly 49 suspensions 50 pigments i 56 57 right 70 72 and from 73 right so last topic was mascara today we will be in part 94 eye cosmetics eyeliner right so we are in part 94 eye cosmetics eyeliner so type ramesh surya narayanan in uh, the youtube you can get all my videos and ramesh s narayanan gmail.com you can write to me for any discussion right so today we are in part 94 we will discuss about eye cosmetics continue the eye cosmetics eyeliner okay uh this is uh, my name you can put in the youtube video you can get all the videos youtube video re- regarding this topic and this is my email id right so to brief eye cosmetics uh, eyeliner and whatever we saw now see You, when you have a thorough knowledge on the colors available the types of colors the surface modifications of colors then the rheology modifiers which are available we all we have discussed all this topic before and the excipients you now the waxes the other emollients the humectants the preservatives so suspending agents so now when you have knowledge of all these aspects which we have covered over last 93 topics no so when you understand what is an emulsion when you understand what is a suspension when when you understand when you get into uh, the all excipients available what are their recent advancement in the chemistry of excipients what are the new excipients available excipients meaning all the building blocks right new rheology modifiers new preservatives new humectants right so new uh, emollients like new new emulsifiers new suspending agents all those things uh, you have to be 
up to date on what is happening in the cosmetic raw material industry then when you have the basic understanding you know what is an emulsion what is a suspension you know how particle size affect the stability of a suspension of a emulsion so all this basic building uh, uh, the formulation basis you know if, if you understand the product forms the physico chemical aspects of the product forms the chemistry of all the excipients which over uh, over uh, all these parts we have discussed extensively so your uh, formulation abilities become much more uh, you no know, uh, efficient right so i strongly advise uh, you all this is an advice from my experience in the industry that a strong understanding of the physico chemical process of the various product forms and a strong hold on the excipients available you can or the building blocks of cosmetic formulations available in the market and the recent advancement in in those areas well, you can do wonders in the field of cosmetic science so now we are in i cosmetics i liner i am going to be very brief in this because it's a repetition of uh, many things right so eye liners are formulated to counter the eyes by drawing a precise line at the base of the lower and the upper eyelashes this is the lower eyelash here and this is the upper eyelash base of the upper eyelash eye liners give the illusion of smaller or bigger eyes eye liner is applied after the eye shadow in order to give eyes a more attracting attracting appearance eye liners are available in different forms eye liner pencil gel and cream liquid dispensed through pen cakes sticks right it up, it is in available in various product forms eye eye liner emulsions again it's like a liquid makeup eye eye liner emulsions are formulated with emollients pigments emulsifiers and waters water polymers are added to increase the viscosity of liquid eyeliners to provide texture to the formulation and also to increase the adhesiveness of the product to the eyelids All right see pencil basically here when you usually pigments that are used in eyeliners are iron oxide black carbon black from petroleum based or natural carbon black burnt from castor oil used to used in the formulation to get black color which is which is the uh, most common form other pigments like blue and red are also used in the eyeliner formulations so basically in a suspension base in an emulsion base if you add the colors relevant colors you get the eyeliner so pencil crayon eyeliner is supplied in either mechanical or plastic cases or wooden cases the plastic cases are soft and deliver the content with less pressure the leads that is the actual product or mixtures of waxes oils hardened fats pigments or pearls the softness of the blend can be modified by changing the concentration and type of the component used of course higher concentration of high melting wax hard waxes results in harder leads these leads are formulated by extrusion process or by using molds what are leads in this in the pencil typical pencil you have the middle part that is called the lead right same way in in the eyeliner the middle part which is in the which actual which is the actual product is the eyeliner is the lead right is the lead eyeliner dispensed through pen is water based 
with polymers and colors no it's a typical suspension the water is uh, no it, the pigments are suspended through suspending agents in water right sticks are stimulated to formulation of lipstick base sticks usually the kajal in india they call it as kajal they are similar to formulation lipstick base so black pigments are used in the formulations traditional formulations these are the black pigments used right see a typical eyeliner emulsion eyeliner no it's it's a oil in water emulsion with pigments simple so here water polyvinyl pyrrolidone suspending agent um, and we have iron oxide black humectant butylin glycol hydroxy ethyl cellulose rheology modifying agent suspending agent then methyl paraben potassium cetyl this is preservative potassium cetyl phosphate emulsifier beeswax emollient carnauba wax emollient which gives also body to the emulsion cetyl alcohol is a secondary emulsifier propyl paraben preservative polyurethane propyl paraben is a preservative polyurethane is a film former water and preservative right so this is a general formula for uh, the eyeliner which is an emulsion base right so this is a uh, one of the prototype formulations which you can try in your lab and perfect the stability later it's only a prototype formulation suggestion right for example eyeliner gel gel eyeliner so it's a black iron oxide with all emollients and waxes cerasin waxes talc ultramarine um it's a silica silicate di diastereomonium hectorite this is this is quaternized hectorite so if you go to our rheology modifying agents no building blocks rheology modifiers we have explained what is this material especially this material is used to thicken oil it is very compatible with the oil base and uh, it thickens the oil so here in this formula there is no water it's basically oil based right and here also try ethoxy capital silane it's a silicone oil pigments rheology modifying agents no then uh, thickening agents no Pro propylene carbonate academia seed oil grape seed oil butylated hydroxy 12 is the antioxidant and butyl paraben is a another preservative antifungal preservative same with this is pencil black okay this with lead no this is the lead formulation which is introduced in in the pencil black cyclomethicone tri methyl siloxy silicate black iron oxide mica polyethylene cerasin wax this is paraffin wax cerasin wax no hydrogenated vegetable oil hydrogenated coconut oil these are all thickening agents silica red iron oxide c12 c15 alkyl ethyl exonovate emollient hydrogenated castor oil carbon polyglyceryl true tri isostearate ferric ferrocyanide it's another pigment so now these are all uh, again it's lead which is non aqueous no water okay eyeliner stick formulation base formulation similar to lipstick formulated with black pigments a traditionally called 
as kajal right in india right so here these are all the gel eyeliner pencil black these are all water free there is non aqueous preparation so oil thickened with waxes pigments dispersed in this similar to lipsticks right similar to lipstick formula so lipstick formula made into a gel form which is softer pencil form and this is more like a lipstick form so the consistencies can be softer for the as a eyeliner then for the lips right and uh, this is the now let us see a water based uh, eyeliner formulation this can be filled in pen right it's water based it's basically water with solubilizers and rheology modifying agents preservatives and pigments simple so water styrene acrylate ammonium methacrylate copolymer this is a rheology modifying agent polysorbate 20 it's a solubilizer ethyl hexyl palmitate an emollient pg40 hydrogenated castor oil this is also a solubilizer then phenoxy ethanol preservative caprylyl glycol preservative ethyl hexyl glycerin preservative enhancer xanthan gum rheology modifying agent acrylate copolymer hydroxy methyl cellulose acrylate copolymer hydroxy ethyl cellulose these are all rheology modifying agents contain black 2 ci77266 red 40 and blue 1 in the formula as pigments right so this is a simple formula of a liquid eyeliner right now we will see a, a photograph of the product forms various eyeliner product forms thank you thank you for uh, listening to me in this video this is what i want to share with you on eyeliner so it's a uh, topic which is an extension of various other things it's only uh, black pigments blue and sometimes red pigments are used in the eyeliners otherwise the it's it's like a suspension water based suspension or a uh, oil based gel or an emulsion or a lipstick type of formulation right so only the pigments are different right this is what i want to share with you in this uh, video thank you for listening to me till i connect you in the next video keep smiling be happy be healthy bye